a ship that carried the future king. Brothers Julian and Lincoln Barnwell discovered the 340-year-old HMS Gloucester shipwreck in 2007. Fifteen years later, they can finally reveal the details of their discovery. I was privileged with the first dive and um, it was uh, quite unusual. So we're sort of four years into the search and um, Julian would normally be the lead diver. I'd be the helmsman. That's just kind of how we work things for our routine and it worked well. And this particular day Julian was injured um, and um, he was still trying to get his kit on to uh, investigate this, uh, what we call the mark, the, the, the ship that we just discovered on the seabed and um, he, he can do it, he's just in too much pain and I just saw these shadows appear in front of me which um, literally a couple of seconds later when I land on the seabed I could identify as huge cannons. It was um, a privilege, every diver's dream uh, and I just, just knelt there for four minutes or so just, just in awe, taking, you know, enjoying the moment, fantastic. So you started looking for this in 2003 and that was when I was born. So how does it feel keeping that a secret for so long and getting that confirmation that it actually was the ship? It took a number of years to get the right, uh, the right dates. We knew we had a, obviously an old shipwreck, but there was other ships out there. For instance, the Kent, she sank in 1672. So it wasn't until we recovered the ship's bell with the date 1681 that we had 100% proof that was the Gloucester. Um, and the key thing really, something so important, historically important, is to get the right people around you. And that's, we had some clear, um, um, a clear mission, if you like, a clear statement of intent from the Ministry of Defence of what to do. And over time we've got the right people. So we now have the, the uh, Norfolk Museum Service, the University of East Anglia, we have General Lord Dannett, we have some fantastic people helping us. And now we're in a position to share it with the, with the rest of the, the country. Academic partners in the project, University of East Anglia, are hoping to uncover the ship's possessions. In a hope it will tell the stories of those who sadly went down with the boat. The shipwreck means so much, not just because of the individuals involved, involved, but because of the warship involved. It actually has a really wide and interesting career that actually that kind of predecedes this actual wreck. The, the Gloucester was launched in 1652 as a Cromwellian warship and it sails all across the road to uh, the well to the Caribbean it's involved in the capture of Jamaica and the importance to the wreck itself is not just because of the event but it's because of the individuals James Duke of York was on board he was the heir to the throne of England Scotland Wales and Northern Ireland and he was a Catholic and that is the particularly controversial area here because England of course was a Protestant country and he was excluded from the country. He was told that he was not welcome in the country for several years before this wreck occurred. In many respects, I feel like this shipwreck deserves its right to stand on its own because this is a royal shipwreck. And to my knowledge, I do not know of any other royal shipwrecks that have been discovered. And of course, by royal, I'm meaning that it actually had the heir to the throne on board. So this is more than just a shipwreck. This, this is both royal history and maritime history combined. The royal chamber is yet to be discovered. An exhibition at Norwich Castle next year will hold the items already taken from the seabed. For the Barnwell brothers, they will hold on to this memory of their discovery for the rest of their lives.